Right, we're on. We are on left-handed buggy. So just finished work, thought I'd come out and play a few holes at Peebles Golf Club left-handed. Shorter course, it's cold, it's windy. Starting off on the fourth hole, 295 yards, I think that's right. Apologies, 278. I've not played left-handed for a while, but a week or so, I've not hit many balls for a week to be fair. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Tee out of pocket first. If you've watched my last video, you know why that is. <laughs> so here we go, let's just start off the driver. Today we're playing a tight list number one. Not that that makes any difference whatsoever. Okay, so I've been trying to think about this to get the speed up. Somebody made a comment in, on one of my videos, which made complete sense and I'll explain as we go. Okay, look at that. Bit toy, but it got in the air. <laughs> Not my best strike in the world, but it's the first shot of the day, just out of the shop, left-handed driver, banging. So yeah, somebody left a comment in one of the videos saying that my swing, left-handed swing, much faster, obviously much shorter than my right-handed swing, so a little bit keen, a little bit eager. And I get that, I totally get that. So I was thinking to myself, how do I slow that down? 150, 140 to the middle. Six iron. I don't think this will reach, but short's pretty good. There's a lot of danger up there. So yeah, somebody mentioned that my swing was quite quick and short, and that's me trying to gain power. Then I thought about Bryson DeChambeau. Bryson DeChambeau did the same thing, trying to gain power with speed, but then he realized that Speed takes time to occur. To accumulate speed, it needs to take some time. So from that, I think if my backswing's slower, I'll then get larger range of motion, so I'll be able to take the club further back, and then I'll get more speed without swinging any harder. So if I slow it down, I should be able to take the club further back. We'll see. Okay, good shot, it's just up the right of the green. Short front right, that's bang on. Okay, two decent strikes, driver six iron, oh my god, this is normal. You can drive the green here, right-handed. But we're not playing right-handed, are we? A 56 degree wedge. Get up there. We're putting for par. We are putting for par. So I'm not playing the holes in order. This is the fourth hole. I thought I would drive up here and get away from any traffic. I may not play the fifth, depends what's on. I may just jump around, but I'll keep you posted. Putt for par. Go on. Oh, what? <laughs> Good five. Great five. Fifth hole, 318 yards. Boom. It's really awkward putting that glove on that hand. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Okay. Bogey to start with, what about that? What a player. So, if I'm slower on the way back, I should be able to create a larger range of motion instead of being so quick and flicky, and therefore more speed, because the longer I've taken the club back, the radius is wider, so I should create or generate more club head speed without trying. This, um, this learning golf's quite hard work. Okay. Oh, it's low, it's away though. It's absolutely fine, isn't it? I feel a little bit more confident. I feel as though I'm going to make contact. That 
feeling as though you're going to miss the feeling of the fresh air shot. It's almost gone. Different game with an iron though, off the ground. Okay, so I've left myself about 165 bunkers in the way, ball above my feet, all awkward stuff. It's normally just a driver and a little flick right-handed, so to, this is very different. Okay. Oh, look at that. Just missed the bunker. Do you know what? It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> I made contact. It went forward. That's We'll take it. I appreciate there for a new golfer how hard that is to play from an awkward lie. And I think I just proved that. Okay, I sneaked round those bunkers. I've got my pitching wedge. Should come off there, come on. Absolute player. Let's go. I was going to hit a full sand wedge there, but my strike's never going to be good enough, so I took a wedge, played a slightly safer option, played within myself, and I've learnt from that. Okay. Par putt. Let's, um, let's try and actually get this could be a second par okay no that was poor Back to back bogeys. By the way, how nice is Peebles Golf Club? Look at the scenery behind me. It's class. Okay, 396 yards, par four. I appreciate that I've put the camera <laughs> behind me, being left-handed, kind of mixed that one up, but it's done now. Too late. Oh no. That has gone low right. That's everything I've been trying to avoid. That there is steep and down instead of... I know what I mean. I can do better than that. Okay, not lying too well. This is stroke index three, not that that matters. If I really catch one, look, there's a burn in front of the green, I'm not going to reach that from here, even with my hybrid if I hit it really well. So I've just got 6 iron, because my 7 iron for some reason is not in my bag. I don't know where that is. I'm going to try and just advance this down there. Okay, I now have an 8 iron to try and advance it the same way as I did last time. I was kind of hoping I'd advance it a little bit further than that though. So frustrating. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, I've kind of lost it a little bit just now, just... Need to regain that, get it back. So you can possibly just see the pin underneath the tree. Now any wise man would go right of the tree. I'm not wise. It's actually lying up pretty well. It's sitting up pretty well. If I can get a good swing on this, this is risk or reward. This has to be a good strike. Oh, and I have, but I've pulled it to the right. Get over the water. 
Oh, it's over. Man, that was silly. That was a bold choice of shot. Only took it on because it was lying so well. I felt as though I would get under it. I got under it. Missed green. <laughs> Still good fun though. So if I can chip a little nine iron. Where are you going? It's okay. Okay, so this is for one, two, three, four, five. This is for a six. This is for double bogey. Oof. That's Treble bogey. <laughs> okay, seventh hole, par three. Let's get rid of that last hole. Downwind, one, two, five yards, eight iron. Oh, that's good. Here we go. Oh, I've had it so well. Oh my god. That <laughs> that That might actually have gone in the hole. The pin's back left. That's the left hand pin. It kicked just on the front of the green. There and kicked left. Oh my god, there's a chance. No way. I couldn't have could I? That's no, no. Oh man, come on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh no, I've not. It's just at the back corner of the green. We've got a birdie putt. My God, could you imagine if that had gone in? There it is, just hanging off the back of the green. It couldn't have been far away. One. Two, three, four, five, fifteen feet. My shortest birdie attempt yet. Birdie putts are very rare. Very rare right now anyway. Let's give this a chance. Oh my heart is pounding. As well. That must have been close to going in the way the green cambers. Okay, calm yourself, big man, calm yourself. Oh! <laughs> oh. Well, that's a massive tick. <laughs> there we go, first birdie on camera. That is unbelievable. Eight iron, hold the putt. Just stuck an eight iron to 15 feet and hold the putt. That's how we do it left handed, you know. Isn't that just classic golf though? Just straight off a treble bogey on the last. And then you step up and birdie the next one. <laughs> okay, I've got to be honest with you. I am now a little bit excited. That was brilliant. I actually do not care what happens the rest of the round now. <laughs> I've got my left-handed birdie. And you've seen it. Right, let's smash driver now then. Okay, there's a gap to go over here. See that? Just slowing that down. To increase the range of motion. Could work. A little bit toy, just go over the water. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Fresh off a birdie. Carried the water in the eighth. I come down the eighth, and if you can see my ball there, carried the water. 
by about five yards and then ran on. That'll do it. Right, I've left myself about 120 yards up over the hill. Seven iron would be good here to land short and let it run out, but I don't have it. Six will be long. I've just birded with an eight. Let's smash an eight. Not sure this will get there, but I can't see me getting over that hill with a six, so... If I can get a good strike... to the front of the green, I'll be happy. Ah, that was good. I think it's all right. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I think it's okay, just, oh, I don't know, left of the green. Right, I'm starting to get a little bit too excited now. I've hit a couple of good shots. There we go, front left of the green. I'll show you this. There we go, so that's driver eight iron to there. Okay, a little chance to chip in for back-to-back -back birdies. <laughs> I could putt this. There's a little ridge that goes up here, so if I was to take a 9-iron and dunt it into there, I might struggle. I'm just confidence is high. Let's take the ping wedge. Let's try and get a decent strike on this. Go on. Oh, wow. Still good. Right, chance for par. Pars are rare. Chance for a par. How hard can this be? One, two and a half. You know, eight feet. Eight foot putt for par. Half the length of what I've just hold. Oh, too much pace. Damn. Still, bogeys are very good. That was great. That's two really good holes. I'm... I'm loving that. For some reason, it's much more enjoyable hitting good shots left-handed than it is right-handed, probably because it's new and I'm adapting to it. And the sense of achievement's probably better as well, but just... Need to rid those bad shots. Okay, par five. Par five. Downhill. Just need to get that slow and wide to get through there. Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely miles down there. That is it. That is as slow and wide that I'm trying to achieve. Right, I've had a great drive down here, just past the first bunker, just short of the second bunker. Hybrid all day long. Let's get it down there. Oh, I've thinned it along the ground. It's going to go a long way though. <laughs> Struggled a bit with that tonight. That drive was the best drive of the evening. I'm very, very happy with that. It's very hard doing things with a right-handed glove on. Look at the head covers aren't even on. I'm just, I'm not disrespecting them, but I'm just finding things awkward. Right, probably left with about 60 yards. Got a wedge. Absolutely pure the wedge. Go. Run out. This could be another birdie. Have you seen that? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I genuinely think that is about five feet from the hole. I'm taking that. So I've left about two and a half feet for a birdie. I mean, it's just my day. That bad hole though. Okay. Still got to hole it. I am nervous. Come on, Steve, just stroke it. 
<laughs> tickles it in. I just tickled it in for my second birdie. I'm, this is unbelievable. So, I've played, how many holes have I played? I've played the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 6 holes. Bogey, bogey, treble bogey. Birdie, bogey, birdie. So that is, what is that? That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 over par for the 6 holes. Left-handed. This journey gets better and better. Now I've had a good night tonight. Obviously I've had a good night apart from that 6th hole, which was my 3rd hole. The length of the course here at Peebles Golf Club is a lot shorter than Cadrona where I've played in the past with my left-handed and where I do most of my videos. I genuinely feel after tonight that I could break 100 left-handed around Peebles Golf Club. I think that is possible. I played tonight from the Gents Yellow Tees. Nice night. Ball goes far when it's running like this. But you still have to get it in the hole. The sixth hole was a perfect example. I made an arse of it a few times. Easily racked up the treble bogey. But bounced back and went birdie, bogey, birdie. Hope you're enjoying the journey. I'm going to go on track, man. I'm going to go to the range during the winter. I'm going to film some video analysis. I'm going to get lessons on this and see how good I can get left-handed. I hope you can empathise with it. We've all been there. We've all been that beginner golfer. It's nice to return to it. And I feel as though I'm adapting to it pretty well. Clearly tonight the scores were good. Um, tomorrow they may be absolutely shit. And as we know, that's golf. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.